Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, of the training video, as you see here. So I hit chest and back at home. And of course, I'm killing like it's no joke. And of course, I gotta get something off my chest. No pun intended. Especially considering that I actually am wearing a certain t shirt with a controversial superhero character, which you'll see in about five, four, three, two, and about one more second. Right here was Deadpool. Who, of course, you guys may know, actually had an R rated movie that came out that was very successful. And of course, if you've been following the news, you know that DC has followed suit with the Joker. And one thing that's kind of ticked me off is the fact that, as I just mentioned, it's been well known this movie is going to be R rated for the longest. And that everybody's crying bloody murder because they think the way that Barbara Gordon was portraying this movie was super offensive. And all I got to say is this seriously, social justice warriors are taking everything to the extreme nowadays for no freaking reason. The book came out back in 1988, it's almost 30 some years old, and it had a rape scene in it, and now you're trying to say that the movie itself is going to be offensive and R rating? Um, comments to tell you that, um, comments to tell you that it was going to be bad. The means of the R rating, you knew it was not going to be sense, so I understand what the big deal is. Anyway, people are using common sense, I decided to go ahead and leave the pen press alone this week, so I did my heavy set of bench. As you can see there, I finally managed to hit like 255 first times this prep. And of course, went doing some earthquake bar bench. First set felt super light, felt super good. So the point like, you know what? I've been doing it with the water jug, with about 15 pounds, 15 pound chain, 25 pound kettlebell. So I decided to go ahead and bump up to a 45 pound kettlebell set this for like three sets. And I'm going to keep it real with you guys in this video because you're going to see me fail. And of course, a good example of why it's always good to have your city racks at the right spot, which is pretty much like an inch below my chest. So basically, you're going to see me roll the bar down, down to my stomach, and then rack it. And of course, back to the whole ridiculousness that was coming. Oh, there you go. Speaking of ridiculousness, <laughs> yep, had to catch it there. So, I got some keeping being real with you guys. So I basically racked it, and from there went on doing some alternating dumbbell presses to finish working on my stabilizer and kill it, which is why I only have 55 pound dumbbells because it don't make any sense, didn't make any sense to go heavier because my chest already spent. And think about ridiculousness and stability, guys. The movie came, the book came out in 1988. It's been long known this movie was gonna be R-rated. Get over it. That makes about as much sense as having a random scene where the Joker pulls out a lightsaber and Batman chops his hand off or have a random cameo of Doomsday popping out of nowhere with a dual-bladed lightsaber. Only true geeks will get that reference. Anyway, of course, like I just mentioned, this is a chest and back day, so by doing that, I had to go do a little bit of back, even though most people say this a leg size, by doing what people know, it was actually known as RIP 90's Deadlift Killer. Of course, I had to make it a lot worse. Instead of using super lightweight for 20 reps in these exercises, I said, you know what? Let me use moderate resistance instead of doing super light and go for 8 to 12 reps in these exercises. You can see here, it's set up so actually, I start off by doing 8 to 12 reps of conventional deadlifts with the bands. And guys, once you figure out how to do this by holding the bands cross side like that, it burns like a mofo. It actually felt like a real deadlift, so that was a good tip from that DVD, so I will give Rip90 credit for that. The deadlift and portion and back was good. Rest of the DVD, no comment at this point. So of course, after doing that, I then wrap the bands around one leg, lighten up a little bit when doing, so I went into doing some single leg resistance band deadlifts. After doing that, did some stiff leg deadlifts, you'll see at two different angles. And finally finish it off with some sumo deadlifts right at the end, and of course, the resistance I had to do for sumo deadlifts was a lot lighter than everything else. So of course I had nothing else better to do but to add resistance on at the end of that set, which you'll see later on in this clip. And of course, while I'm on the topic of Comic-Con, on a brighter note, instead of people just crying about Barbara Gordon, even though it happened back in 1988, we have some good news, and this time it's from Marvel instead of DC. So it's kind of ironic that Marvel has good news. Well, anyway, it is not Star Wars related. But now that Netflix actually has a good season with Jessica Jones, as well as Daredevil Seasons 1 and 2, it's just been confirmed that, hey, they just released clips and trailers for Luke Cage series, Iron Fist, The Defenders, and yes, Daredevil is getting a Season 3. This is freaking awesome. 
And of course, since I had to name this video Super Sonic Geek News, it turns out there are actually two new Sonic games that were released. And yes, I need to come but collector's voice from The Simpsons. <laughs> Alright, let me stop. But yeah, man, there are two Sonic games that are actually will be released or Sega just announced. The first one actually seems to be um, kind of a rematch of all the Sonic games all in one. And the other one appears to be a Sonic Generations 2. So based on the trailers, the second one, like I mentioned, was Sonic Generations 2, because you see Classic Sonic and New Sonic. And then the other one was, of course, pretty much what most people were saying was Sonic 4 should have been, was actually known as Sonic Mania, was basically remixes of a lot of the older Sonic games into one nice complete package. So one thing I noticed watching the trailer was the fact that I've seen scenes from the original Genesis Sonic games, along with a few animations that were borrowed from the Sega CD version, and a few other assets, as well as some HD sprites, which was actually pretty nice. Okay, in other gaming news, some homebrewers have actually recently released a homebrew game for the Super Nintendo CD-ROM drive that the Ben Heck actually managed to reverse engineer and get up and running again. However, it basically, unfortunately, does not take advantage of any of the special, sorry, specific hardware of the SNES CD-ROM, and it basically is a Super Nintendo game that was pretty much compressed into a SNES CD ISO file. But the good thing about the game is the fact that there's a lot of humor involved. It's basically a game that pretty much parodies Sony to the fullest. And basically as you fight as the CEO of the company trying to fight off all the hackers that pretty much expose the PlayStation, sorry, Super Nintendo PlayStation, which is kind of funny. And of course, you know, the humor, they pretty much made it stylized, sorry, stylized, like River City, sorry, River City Ransom, as well as the other Kuno Kenyo, sorry, Kento, sorry, Kunto Kento, that. Skip it. River City, or River City Ransom Games. I can't pronounce the other pronunciation of it because it's Japanese and it's starting to throw me off. It's making me more dizzy than I am right now doing deadlifts. So anyway, back to the train. It says a lot considering this is the second of three bonus sets I had to do with a sumo deadlift for extra resistance. And of course, what back workout will be complete with all pull-ups. So you can see here, I'm basically doing a whole bunch of pull-ups and alternating grips every 10 reps. So I decided to go ahead and do a wide pronated grip with a wide neutral grip, wide supinated grip, aka chin up, and finally close grip, narrow grip. And of course, this is how you get a back that makes people salute you. And shockingly, like I may have actually beat both Alpha Omega Sin and Louis Marco who had to salute on a daily basis, baby please, with the Killing Joke article because I know both of these guys are going to face Brandon's up because of their social justice warriors. But on a brighter note, going back to the Comic Con news, the Wonder Woman trailer looks freaking awesome. Like That's why it's going to be a good movie. So guys, DC actually is doing some good things on their end. That y'all put women in a good light. And so, pretty much get over the whole bad killing joke from 1988. Once again, it's 1988 and the year is 2016. I was 28 years ago. Why are you guys just now flipping a bird over it? It's 28 years old. Get over it. Watch Wonder Woman instead. And of course, that ends my political rant for the day. Right before going into doing some barbell bit of a roll, alternating grips. And of course, as I mentioned many times in this channel before, I like to keep the weight at a moderate level so that I'm actually pulling the weight and not twerking the weight. There's nothing worse than seeing a grown man grind a barbell and trying to gyrate the bar at the tip of his hips and like he's trying to dry hump the bar and twerk on the gym floor. That is unacceptable and not to be saluted. So of course, I had to get some back bomb man. I was trying to go right back and do some chest. So at this point, I decided to go right and doing some barbell incline bench press.
And of course, had to follow up the incline with a decline movement. So right now I'm doing some decline chest presses. And basically you don't want to end up with saggy man breath. So this is a good way to kind of prevent that. And also make sure you do more incline, of course, to build that up so you have less mat, more mass on the upper end so it looks better. So after doing that, when Ryan doing some lat pull downs, we hit my lats again. And one thing you will notice as I'm doing this, I'm using the handles this time versus the bar. And this I can go a, bit, a little bit deeper and really get deep into my lats while doing it, which is why you notice some slight rotation in my arms as I pull the wrists backwards. And of course, I had to get a little more upper chest involved. So right now, I'm actually doing a super set of reverse grip incline chest press or regular grip incline chest press. And guys who watch my channel know this is my favorite upper chest exercise to do with the band. Okay, at this point my chest is completely fried, so I said, okay, let me go out right now and finish up back. So right now, as you can see, I'm doing some squatted back rows of the bands, pretty much like doing a seated cable roll with the triangle attachment. So basically, I'm kind of getting a narrow grip, even though it's kind of hard to see. You can also do this with a rope attachment if you have one around. Today, I didn't feel like grounding the rope, so I just ground the bands raw. So right doing that, I pretty much put a handle on there, drop the resistance, and start going to doing some single arm back rows, as you can see right here. Then it's going to a cross scale machine or a seated roll machine with a handle attachment and doing the same exercise. Okay, at this point I decided to go ahead and finish this workout off by doing some just bent ab crunch with a little bit of oblique twist on the side to prevent lug handles. And then 30 minutes of cardio right afterwards to kind of catch up with some YouTube videos that I missed while trying to say it like crazy. Speaking about abs and cardio, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., which will be a Sunday morning at Third Chiropractor, I will be doing my free boot camp session in the Detroit area. Please attend. Alright guys, welcome to this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace out.